the intense photonic waves of light which will increase and continue through the end of December 2013 are uncreating the illusion. The Maya dissipates in the light of truth, the light of love, the light of the galactic rewrite we are experiencing right now, today. Guardians of the new light, take heed. The current light waves are of a substance which past masters and galactics have not experienced in a physical body on a planet going through a dimensional shift. This is the point where we, the grounded, awakened, and ascending collective, must be very clear about our choices and our ascension process. In order to stay focused on the ascension timeline, you must hold firm to your heart stream. The activations available now are continuous, powerful, and purposeful. Source Point of the Heart Stream The heart stream is centered at a source point of light within the heart center. It centers your life stream, that's all expressions of you, around a stream of pure source consciousness right in the heart, like a flow within a flow. I see my source point as a tiny version of my light signature shining within each of my expressions connecting us all with source. This source point is an aspect of the life stream which connects all the expressions of self. It was activated last year during the liquid light God drop activation. That was October 2012. As always, when several of the Ascending Collective take on a new aspect of the process, such as the God Drop, it becomes available to all of the Collective through their focused intent and re to receive and activate it. A heart stream flowing in the light, geometry, and magnetics of the higher dimensional expressions of the fifth dimensional you and the fifth dimensional Gaia is your key to the gateway through this passage. Lock onto it. The stream lock is created by you. You must choose to lock onto the light intelligence of the source spark within your heart. It is a palpable, strong stream of love light intelligence. You will feel this energetic stream flowing upwards and around your body from the heart itself like a pillar of light connecting you, the Ascended Self, and the Ascended Planet. It is pure Source Light, very powerful and very pure. Pure Grace and Divine Will Surrender is such passionate bliss right now. Yeah, except when it isn't. <laughs> it is getting easier. And the beauty of this new light, notice the clarity around us, is intoxicating. Staying in my heart stream is saving my incarnate self from getting entangled in the visions of what is ahead of us. My higher self and the masters, star brethren, and guidance realms are helping me as best as they can. I keep seeing them standing back as the collective goes through the energetic ringer, like an old-fashioned ringing machine for laundry. All they can do is watch and send love because they haven't done this themselves. Remember that everyone must obey cosmic law. Higher realms can only provide support if the energy is reciprocated. Send love, light, and strength to the higher realms as we level up through the ringer. They do have to watch this process. I am going through this intense phase with my heart stream focused on divine will and unification. I send love to the beings who support me, and it allows them to send me more. We are learning this law quickly. We are learning mastery quickly. Send love to your higher self in order to receive more guidance, more connection with your higher self. The anticipation you may feel is the ascension itself. How exciting to be consciously co-creating a new reality. Be grateful even when the deeply embedded old systems are wrestled out of your consciousness. Say thank you. Doom and other distractions. Enough already with the questions about collapse. If you cannot find satisfaction for your doom appetite in my messages, there is a good reason for that. Fear is a great marketing tactic, and I cannot reiterate that enough. 
Of course, this passage is going to be rough and weird and wonderful. Please remain calm through this collective flail. Changes during a dimensional shift are normal. Earth changes are normal. Speeding comets are normal. ET interaction is normal. Collective rewrites are normal. Blasting of the lower egoic emotional and thought forms are normal during a shift in consciousness. The unusual aspect of this particular shift on this particular planet is the ascension of humans to a newly ascended higher expression of a planetary consciousness. You will not learn to activate source light in programs designed to disempower and distract. Conspiracy forums and other nonsense are old programs aimed at restricting human ascension. Some may have started with good intentions to wake people up. Then they forget to evolve above the old programs. As the gap between intent, focus, thought, and manifestation in your personal life stream disappears, I highly recommend disconnecting from any remaining attachments to negative programs. Unfortunately, it is also normal for people to use suffering as a safety net when change feels scary. Conspiracy programs are very clever. They convince you to create realities which do not exist anymore. It teaches you how to create a barrier between you and the truth, an energetic encasement of your expression fed by lower vibrational thought forms and emotional triggers. This is a very clever move, dear dark ones, well played. These are old programs which do not serve the new light, which means a lot of folks are missing out on the truth of ascension. It's ironic, as people are convinced that they are finding the truth through these programs. It's doubly ironic, since the energies which built these programs in the first place got the cosmic boot already, and yet humans continue to create them. The doomed timelines have already dissipated. There is no need to be concerned about their survival at all. However, as the old constructs crumble, it may become very difficult for those without heart center coherence to decipher what is true and what is illusion and what is absolutely aimed at inhibiting their own evolution. Just to be clear, these new light waves are not out to get them or old structures and systems. Anyone still focusing on the shift as some kind of biblical destructive tool aimed at crushing the dark is way off the mark. Same goes for the waiting game on collapse. What a frustrating and disempowering ride that must be. I encourage everyone stuck in the global collapse waiting room to read or watch Beckett's Waiting for Godot. The shift is planetary as well as human. Gaia's as well as many human ascensions have already occurred and the dense time delay is disappearing quickly. Remember that the collapse of the astral is the collapse of that gap, that buffer between us and what is manifested in our reality. And as that disappears, there's a lot of last grabs for what creator incarnate is able to create. So if you're getting steered into a program that wants you to create a certain reality, I highly recommend that you disconnect from all of that. These principles apply to instant manifestation of positive heart-based thought, as well as instant manifestation of subconscious baggage of old operating systems. Masks off, Kachina. What have you created under there? Command and decree it now. If you have not done this already, command your immediate release from all 3D and 4D operating systems and programs. Bind them up and out of you to the sun, release them to source, whatever your method is right now, and for the love of source, please do not dump it back into the planetary grids or the crystalline grid. Get it out of here. We have a dimensional shift in progress, and Mama Gaia needs your help to be clear, not to contaminate her. Be sure to clear the cellular memory of those systems, as well as your soul and family monads. Decree it. Draw it out, yell it out, cry it out, burn it out, wash it out, whatever you need to do. Those systems do not support a 5D existence. Disengage. 
Yes, we're doing some heavy lifting for the collective by doing this private work. That's our job. That's also a clue for those still waiting for a magic mission to appear. Do your best to maintain the love of source point heart stream consciousness. First waivers, this will be especially helpful in the next few months. Lock on to your interdimensional heart stream. Take care of the body as best you can. Revelations and Reminders I was shown that I have a guardian expression. Oh, there is so much revelation happening these days. All we can do is take the note and stay open to the new, the new, the new. I am completely bored with conversation about aspects of the self. Apologies. Beloveds, in my perspective, the I am this race, I am an aspect of that being deity, etc., chatter, is just the scenery. It is not the end result. It is what was. Focus on what you are creating right now as you integrate all aspects of yourself. Be aware of triality. Highest interests of all concerned, not in the highest interests, or not applicable to my journey, slash none of my business. Responsible creation is important as our creator skills are amplified. If a miscreation or aspect is getting stuck in the ringer, let it go. Remember that 4D is the astral plane of consciousness, a plane that we used to access only in dream state or through plant and psychedelic substances. We have to observe it on our way to 5D, Lingering in the dreamy, freaky realm of the astral, believing the illusions, can inhibit your stability as well as your ascension. Lock your heart stream on that pure source point. The physics of it, the higher vibrational shield that it provides, will act as a protective energetic which keeps you centered and lucid during this passage. <laughs> 